Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Kelvin, and this is a proto prototype for Uber Creek, a game I've been working on. It's a turn-based strategy game, and it has a unique uh, radio mechanic, which is what this is go this video is going to be about. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, in Uber Creek, uh, you deploy armies and you try to defeat your uh, opponent's army, which is somewhere in here in Fog of War, but their HQ is here, and your HQ is here. And in order to use your units, you need uh, your HQ needs to uh, your your, so your commanders in your HQ. HQ's got radio range; uh, it can broadcast this far, and that's how far it can broadcast orders. So these two units are in your broadcast range, so you can command these units. But these units out here, the Red Army's unit here, um, they're out of range, so the yellow question mark indicating that they're not in contact with the uh, HQ. Uh, but ra uh, units have also radio equipment. The HQ's got radio equipment. Units got uh, radio equipment, and the range is this big. Range is this big, and they can relay orders for the HQ. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill this gap in here, and we're gonna be able to get orders to these units. Now these units are already spent, so I won't be able to use them this turn. Uh, so let's move this unit right here and what that's gonna do is it's gonna close this uh, gap oh so here we go we got the HQ which is talking to this unit which can relay uh, orders through this unit and then this way and then so now all of these units the question marks gone but because uh, they weren't in radio contact at the beginning of the turn they've uh, spent um, so let's take a look at the blue army and see how they're set up. So the blue army you'll see had a complete uh, radio line. They didn't. They didn't have a gap. Well, they do have a gap. There's a gap here. Um, but I have access. They have a similar structure here, and I didn't have a gap. Of course, if I do move it, I will lose uh, these units. Um, but I, I don't have access to these units down here. So but so but what I do have is uh, radio tower is this one, this one. I don't own this one, but if I capture it, I can use it to relay uh, orders like I do uh, using units. So I'm gonna set I'm gonna, uh, so any unit with a face I can use to capture a property. So I'm gonna take this radio tower and take advantage of its very large radio range. Uh, so when you just, uh, so I'm going to move my unit over the property. I'm going to do the capture uh, command. Um, what that's going to do is it's going to apply 10 HP to the property's uh, resistance. So all properties, your enemy's properties or neutral properties will try to resist being captured. And they have 20 points worth of resistance. And each time you do the um, capture command, you apply your HP to the against the uh, resistance so you see uh, so this number has been capped down from 20 um, so that's 20 minus 10 equals 10 so I gotta do the capture action again without moving unit my uh, infantry unit of course if my infantry unit is damaged uh, it'll take a little longer to capture this building but at a full health it'll still take two full turns to capture a, a property so now you'll notice that this unit's um, got the question mark, but it hasn't been spent this turn. It was it was in radio uh, radio coverage at the beginning of the turn. Uh, so the idea is the orders got to it already. So we still can use this unit. It hasn't been spent uh, doing whatever it is it would have done if it hadn't received orders. So I'm going to move this back here and reconnect uh, to the uh, my line, so I have access to this unit again. On my next turn. Otherwise, I won't have access to them, like with these units. So let's go back to uh, the Red Army on, on day two. So the Red Army, uh, I've connected, uh, I filled this gap, and I have access to this uh, um, these these two units now. But I can't see any of the blue units. Uh, what I want to do is. Uh, show you uh, this unit down here. So this is a covert operative unit. It, can, it has uh, several uh, unique functions. Uh, and the big one being uh, 
able to disable a unit now knock out its radio so it won't be able to relay uh, orders and it won't be able to receive orders so it'll be dead in the water but for now the first thing we're going to do is try to get it really close to the enemy and use its very large vision range and spy on them so here's something can do with a recon and so any unit can do uh, a scout action which is really just a move action but uh, um, I can't see this but what I can do is move my unit out of radio range. The the uh, recon has um, 12 moves, so this is half. And then I'm gonna move it back into radio range. Um, I can do that, or I can move it back into its original position. And what that will do is it'll let me scout this uh, path that I put my uh, unit on and then move it back into a safe position back within my radio uh, range so I won't lose contact with it on, on the next turn so now I found this unit I'm gonna move my covert operative now you'll notice that the covert operative has a little star on top of it on top of the on the little guy right here and that means it's a command rank unit and what that means is it can uh, move on its own so it's not part of the overall it's not connected to the HQ it doesn't have to receive orders from the HQ and it can also broadcast orders but the radio range on the covert operative is zero uh, speaking of which I'm going to build a field officer now a field officer has a radio range of one so it can command other units and it can move independently um, and it can do something else too. I'm going to do that later. But the 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 covert operative can move independently and has a pretty large vision range. Now you'll notice I can't see into this and I can't see into these forests, even though it's within like vision range. That's because these areas are uh, they can hide uh, units. And I can, but I can move adjacent to them to see into it. Now, if I move right into it, I'm going to get trapped prematurely. So let's say I, I want to move up here through this. Uh, I know there's a unit in there because uh, that's where I moved the last turn. But let's say I want to come here and attack this unit. What's heck going to happen is I'm going to bump into this unit and my, my the action is going to end prematurely. And I won't be able to do the engage action. So let's take a look at that. So I, I do see this unit now, but I didn't get to do my action. Now I'm going to, this is a debug thing, I'm going to press F4, I'm going to take that uh, turn again. This time we're not going to run into the, this unit. We're, oh, let's do the scout action first again, so we can we can actually see that other unit. Um, this time we're just going to run past it, and we're going to run past this uh, um, forest too, just so we can show it. that that way we'll be able to look see into it. And I'm going to do the conceal action. Conceal action is going to make it as if this unit's inside a forest or one of these. Uh, an enemy or neutral property and it's going to be able to not be seen by the enemy unit so this is in vision range of these infantry units but if we go on to the next turn we'll see that uh, we can't see it unless of course we run into it like we do or run past it like we did with uh, this guy right here so oh trapped so let's play that turn again <laughs> Um, so now what we're going to do, I'm going to show you a global uh, range check, a, a radio range check. So this gold area is part of my radio coverage where my orders are able to get to. And this sort of um, dark blue area is where I have radio coverage. I own this radio tower, I own this radio tower, I own these two units, but they're not connected to something that can give it orders in this case uh, what I got is the HQ um, so but watch what happens when I take the, uh, finish capturing this radio tower so now this radio tower ha uh, there's an so now there's a connection from my HQ through these uh, units and onto the radio tower the radio tower crosses the river 
and now I have access to these units. Um, of course, they're already spent. They weren't uh, in radio contact with the HQ at the beginning of this turn, so they've been spent already. Uh, dig in or whatever it is uh, they did. Um, so let's look at the... But now I have access to all my unit, uh, units, so next turn I'll be able to use them all, unless my uh, the Red Army does something, which is what we're going to do. We're going to use... So we're going to use the Cover Operative, and we're going to zap this unit. We're going to disable this unit. It's going to knock it out of commission, and it's going to break this command line. Um, so let's do that. We're going to use the disable action. So zap. So this unit's out of commission. It can't move. It can't relay. And the, all these other units are now um, severed from the uh, radio connection to the HQ. Um, but we can sort of get around it. So... We won't have access to these units now on this turn because they didn't receive orders. Nothing we can do about that. But with the uh, units we have existing, we can rearrange our command structure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this infantry unit right here. And I'm going to move this guy right here. So notice how this guy has... Now this happened already before, but this guy is no longer in this yellow border. He's not physically connected to this unit. I don't remember if I covered this, but because he was in radio contact at the beginning of this turn, we can still use it. So I'm going to move this guy right here, and that's going to link this up, bypassing this whole up structure up here. And uh, in order to free this unit, we're also going to build an APC. An APC can resupply and repair radio equipment. So it can resupply fuel, can resupply ammo it can uh, fix radio so we're going to use this APC to fix this unit later um, but because it's deployed that counts as action it's exhausted for the turn it's spent for the turn so let's go next to the red army uh, I'm gonna build a field officer now field officer I thought I built one already oh wait I redid that turn Anyway, a field officer can um, move independently and it can give orders just like the HQ, but its radio range is a lot smaller. Um, but we'll get back to that later. The thing you can, there's some things you can do with the uh, field officer. So we're on Blue's turn right now. Blue's got this IFV. Uh, so that stands for Infantry Fighting Vehicle. And I'm going to demonstrate. Uh, cutting the uh, supply, uh, not the supply, the, uh, the command line by simply destroying a unit. So an IFE, as the name might suggest, is very good against infantry units, so it can one-shot most infantry units. So I can't see any of them right now, so I'm going to do a scout action with this uh, recon here. Oops, I got trapped by this recon, but that's alright. Um, we found a uh, what we need to see. Should destroy this one and this one. Just, uh, we're, we're, I can actually probably kill this one, but I'm gonna come up here. I'm gonna. So I don't want to be on the road, mostly because the road doesn't give me any defense bonus. The planes give a little bit. It's better than nothing. Uh, uh, anyway, moving on. I'm gonna destroy this. Uh, unit now I know I can uh, destroy this unit because the damage is over a hundred and that means I can I'm guaranteed a hundred percent damage which is 10 10 H 10 damage done to this unit and a 90 percent chance of doing an extra but that's 11 damage we don't need that we're guaranteed to destroy this uh, unit so zoop it's gone and these units are out of commission they've been severed from the command line so we're going to go on the register and see what that looks like. It looks like this. Um, ooh, I didn't think this through. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new command uh, structure that's separate from the HQ using the, the officer. So I'm going to bring the officer down here. Not, not in contact with the HQ, but here we go. Now, uh, that's not quite enough um, to reach these units, so we're just going to take another turn here. Um, meanwhile, on the blue turn, I'm just going to do this thing with the... Oh, you're kidding me. 
did not plan this out as well as I hoped, but um, I'm going to move uh, the APC in closer. Uh, and then I'm going to end turn. So what I'm going to do with the... Uh, sorry, I, I wanted to put my unit in the... Well, we'll, 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 we'll deal with that later. So so what I can do with the uh, uh, officer, field officer, is I can attach the field officer to another unit. And that'll make that unit a command unit. But uh, So now this is a command unit with a radio range of three that can broadcast. This guy's out of range, so I'm just going to bring him in here. So now you'll see that this... Uh, command structure here is definitely separate from the HQ so I can uh, bring these guys up somewhere over here uh, and do something very separate from the HQ I can also attach uh, the officer into something like a recon that's gonna give me a lot of speed and a very large radio range or I can put it in something like a heavy tank that's gonna give it a lot of armor make it a lot more durable so there's there's things you can do with the with a field officer, but it is five five thousand dollars, and you do lose a fighting unit when you uh, move a uh, field officer into another unit. So you got to think about the the trade off you get for that. Um, let's move on to the uh, uh, blue army turn. I'm just gonna do this. Uh, fix that now this the APC is also a uh, command a unit with uh, range one so I can actually like um, what's going on over here uh, create a separate command structure um, I think that's all the things uh, a couple more things I will show you. Um, APCs uh, uh, can uh, carry two units. And it doesn't have a lot to do with the radio, but since I got the APC and I got the infantry units here, I'll show you what that looks like. I can boop, two guys, one, two, bring them out over here and drop them somewhere else. So that's that's something you do. And and units that are dropped from APC, they, that ride in APC will be resupplied. So you see the uh, fuel on this unit is a little lower. It's uh, down here. This guy is uh, 65. This guy is 75. 72, 75. So these are fresh. Um, and one more thing I want to talk about is officers. Uber Creek has uh, currently 10 officers with three more planned. Um, and officers have special abilities. They have some passive abilities. So, uh, for example, a unit uh, officer might have all their uh, all their range units might be might be a little better, or all their infantry units might be a little better. Uh, in this case, um, <clears throat> uh, specifically to talk about radio. Uh, this officer has uh, these stars down here. Now I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a cheat. I'm gonna fill the. So as you fight, as you fight with your uh, units against your opponent, your meter will fill up. And when your meter's filled up sufficiently, if all the little stars are filled up, you can do a, a creek skill. And when the big stars are filled up, you can do an uber creek. And those are special abilities you can activate to that will do a certain thing for you to try and turn the tide of battle. And in this case, I can uh, I, d I don't have graphics for it yet, but I can call down a big thing of Thunderbolt, at least in my head right now. We'll, we'll see how the graphic goes. But basically, I can zap a bunch of units right now and take out their radio like we did with the Covert Operative, but instead I, um, it's going to be an area effect. So if I open my uh, system menu, I got my Creek Seal, I got my Uber Creek. So I'm going to do the Uber Creek because it's, it's it's a bigger effect, it's more impressive. So I'm going to right click to deploy and zap! I zap all those units. Now it also zaps my own unit and it also does 2 HP of damage. So these are 2 down from 10. 
But uh, that's basically my opponent's entire army, and of course, uh, these won't relay uh, radio anymore, as you can see from the dark blue border. Um, so I think that's all the radio things. I'm sorry it's such a mess of a talk, but I don't, I don't have a video editor software, and I've done like five takes already, so... Uh, yes, there's a lot more to discover. Um, this prototype, you, you can download this prototype. I'm sure I've put a link below the, this video. Uh, and uh, you can read about, there's a bunch of text files and links, and you can find out what the officers do. You can come and find me on Discord and talk to me. Uh... In the prototype, you can play four player, well, two to four player games um, via the hot seat. So at a single computer, where you just take turns, and some of the guys would just have to sit away from the the screen and not look, not peek, because fog of war is pretty important in this game. Um, or you can play a two player game over land. Uh, it takes some jiggering, but it can be done. I've done it. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the radio mechanics. There's some other stuff, uh, but I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, thanks for listening. Uh, talk to you later, and hopefully I'll be more coherent, uh, the next time.